Yes. Time haven't arrived. I hereby call the City Council for February 27th, 2017 to order. Please stand and salute the flag. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilors, if you could please stand, remain standing. Uh, as you know, uh, Bob Hayden, uh, the former police chief of the city of Brockton, uh, well regarded in the law enforcement industry, has, has passed away. If we could uh, take a moment to remember him and his family. Our thoughts and prayers go out to his family. Thank you. Councilor Cruz. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Uh, President. I'd like to make a motion to elect for the evening uh, Miraculous Day as Clerk Pro Tem. Second. Second. Motion is made, properly seconded. Uh, all in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, motion carries. Attorney Gilday would be uh, Pro Tem Clerk for this evening. Thank you, Councilors. Uh, we're going to go on to agenda item number one, please. Acceptance of the minutes of the February 13th, 2017 <coughs> City Council meeting. Accepted and placed on file. <coughs> We have the report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of February 21st, 2017. That too is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Chief of the Fire Department requesting the acceptance and expenditure of a grant totaling $150,000 from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Executive Office of Public Safety and Security for overtime necessary to maintain staffing levels. That is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. That too is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor relative to the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the chief of the fire department requesting acceptance and ex expenditure of grants totaling $14,039 <coughs> from the executive office of public safety for public safety education programs. Constance, that's accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor relative to the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the That same. too is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending that the city council authorize the mayor to execute an administrative consent order issued by the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection relative to the Montponset Pond. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. That is also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the chief of police requesting to expend grant monies related to the fiscal year 2016 U.S. Department of Justice Bulletproof, Bulletproof Vest Program grant funds in the amount of $12,784. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor relative to the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. That too is accepted and placed on file. The appointment of Kelly Mallory of 12 Marsha Drive, Brockton, to the Brockton Parking Authority for a five-year term ending January 31st, 2022. In City Council on February 13, 2017, read and referred to the Finance Committee, and you have the favorable report. Council, the question is on confirmation by roll call vote. If the uh, clerk could kindly read the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Barwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Studensky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. Appointment is hereby adopted. Appointment of Donald Williams to the Brockton Cable Advisory Board for a three year term ending January 31st, 2020. <coughs> in City Council, February 13, 2017. Read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. You have the favorable recommendation. Council has questions on confirmation by roll call vote. Um, Madam Clerk, if you could kindly read the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sudensky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. Council's appointment is hereby adopted. Appointment of Conrad Boone to the Brockton Parking Authority for a five year term ending January 31st, 2022. In City Council, February 13, 2017. Read and referred to the Finance Committee. You have heard the favorable recommendation. Question is on confirmation by roll call vote. Uh, Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sudensky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. Appointment is hereby adopted, councils. Ordered that the City Council authorize the acceptance and expenditure of total grant funds in the amount of $100,000 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security to City of Brockton Police Department Municipal Public Safety Staffing Grant Fund. These funds are to be provided in the form of overtime funds for the Brockton Police Department to use for <coughs> patrol shift replacement 
in detective investigations. Question is on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Ma Rodriguez? Yes. Sudansky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. Order is hereby adopted. Ordered that the mayor is hereby authorized to grant an easement to the owner of plot 30, 30-1, and 31 Leach Avenue for the purposes of maintaining a water main slash water line over land of the city known as Plot 11 Warren Ave. Red referred to the Standing Committee on Finance on February 13, 2017. You have the favorable recommendation. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Canary? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Studensky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. Order is hereby by adopted. Council Yanary. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to move for reconsideration in hopes it not prevail on item second. number 18. Second. Second. Motion made properly. Second. Uh, motion for reconsideration. Hopes it doesn't prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Motion for reconsideration does not prevail. Thank you, Council. Uh, 19, please. Resolve that the Chairman of the Zoning Board of Appeals be invited to appear before a committee of this Council to discuss the caseload of the board, the zoning ordinances, and any recommendations which will contribute to the protection of neighborhoods and business districts. In City Council, read and referred to the Finance Committee on February 13, 2017, you have the favorable recommendation. Councilor Farwell. Yeah, Mr. President, I'd like to uh, move that this be referred to the Committee on Ordinance so we can get together with uh, Chief Galligan as Chair of the Zoning Board of Appeals and continue to work with him on modernizing our whatever ordinances need to be uh, upgraded. Second. A uh, form of a motion to send it back, refer it to ordinance. Uh, Council Cruz again is chair of the ordinance. Uh, there has been a proper second. All in favor of sending it back, to, sending it to the ordinance committee. All opposed, motion carries. It will be referred to the ordinance committee. Thank you, Chair, uh, Council. Number 20, please. Ordered that pursuant to the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 53A, the City Council authorizes the acceptance, appropriation, and expenditure of grant funds totaling $400,000 for the purposes of a recreational uses at the Walker Playground. Further affirming the mayor's authorization of the BRA's allocation of $120,000 in CDBG funds and authorizing the mayor to file and accept grants from the Executive Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs. In City Council, February 13, 2017, Councilor Azak moved to under suspension of the rules, which was properly, sec properly seconded the matter was put over to this meeting based upon a charter objection. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Uh, Madam Clerk, if you could kindly read the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Rodriguez? No. Sudensky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Eight in the affirmative, one in the negative. Order is hereby adopted. Mr. Council President, Azak. I would like to move for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail. Second. Second. Motion uh, has been made, properly second in reconsideration, in hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Motion for reconsideration does not prevail. Thank you, Councilor. Number 21, please. In ordinance amending Chapter 2 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Article 5, Departments, Division 7, Department of Personnel, is hereby amended by adding certain requirements relative to hiring and promotions. Referred to Ordinance Committee. In ordinance amending the ex approving the extension of the existing cemetery land to be dedicated to cemetery uses located at East Street and Thatcher Street, pursuant to Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 114, Section 34, the land between East Street and Thatcher Street, including the existing cemetery of the Poor Sisters of Je Jesus Crucified and the Sorrowful Mother. Ordinance. That's referred to the Committee on Ordinance. Ordered that the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the City of Brockton require their laying out and acceptance of Delmar Road from Dagmar Drive to Dodge Road. And for that purpose, it is necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out as a public street away of said City of Brockton. Constance, that's referred to both Finance Committee and Planning. Ordered that the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Fortin Drive extending from Dixon Road, and for that purpose, it is necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out as a public street or way of said city of Brockton. Councilors, that too is referred to finance and planning. <coughs> 
ordered that the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Maplewood Circle from North Cary Street easterly. And for that purpose, it is necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out as a public street or way of said city of Brockton. Council, is that too referred to finance and planning? <clears throat> Ordered that the mayor is authorized to grant an easement to the town of Kingston in, across, over, under, along, and upon a portion of city-owned land situated on the westerly side of Lake Street in Kingston for purposes related to the, a culvert and for stormwater management. Referred to Finance Committee. Ordered that the City Council authorize the acceptance and expenditure of the total grant fund in the amount of $150,000 from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Executive Office of Public Safety and Security to the City of Brockton Fire Department Municipal Public Safety Staffing Grant Fund <coughs> for overtime purposes. Referred to Finance Committee. Ordered that the City Council authorizes the acceptance and expenditure of the total grant in the amount of $14,039 from Executive Office of Public Safety, Student Awareness of Fire Education, and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Senior Safe Grant to the City of Brockton Fire Department Fiscal Year 17 Student Awareness <coughs> of Fire Safety Education and Senior Grant Fund. Referred to Finance Committee Councils. Ordered that a petition to the general court accompanied by a bill for a special law relating to the city of Brockton be filed with an attested copy of this order. Yeah. And it is approved under clause one of section eight of article two as amended of the amendments to the constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And to that end, legislation be adopted relative to an act relative to the appointment of special police officers in the city of Brockton. That is referred to finance committee, Councilor Yaniri. Uh, on that particular item, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman, if I might, because I sponsored this uh, some time ago and this body uh, voted in favor of it. This evening, I'd like to suspend the rules and act on this particular item because this has to go back into Boston. Um, it came back to us because of some clerical um, things that had to take place, which are, I guess, I's that weren't dotted and T's weren't crossed. And, and I and the legal counsel work with our um, attorneys as well to make sure that we could um, uh, make all the changes, and they were very minimal. So not to hold it up any longer because some of our offices will be retiring uh, pretty soon and are looking to be able to participate in this. I'd like to, again, suspend the rules Thank and act on this evening. Uh, we have a, a motion on the floor. It was properly seconded to uh, act on this tonight under suspension rules. All in favor of uh, suspending the rules, please raise your hand. All opposed, uh, that motion carries. Uh, now the matter is going to come before us. The question is going to be on the adoption of the order. Um, and with that, we need a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, if you could kindly read the roll. Aza? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Aniri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Studensky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. Council says the order is hereby adopted. Mr. Council President, Yaniri. I'd like to move for reconsideration. Hopes it does not prevail in this item. Motion made properly. Second reconsideration. Hopes it does prevail. All in favor of reconsideration. Uh, all in favor of the motion. Please raise your hand. Okay, all in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Motion for reconsideration does not prevail. Thank you, Councilor. Number 30, please. Ordered that the City Council authorizes the Mayor to execute the administrative consent order issued by the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection relative to Montponset Pond. Refer to Finance Committee, Councils. Ordered that the City Council authorizes the acceptance and appropriation of the total grant in the amount of $12,784 from United States Department of Justice Fiscal Year 16 Bulletproof Vest Program to City of Brockton Vest Program Grant Fund. That to refer to Finance Committee. Resolved to invite Mr. Paul Engel, the new Executive Director of the Brockton Public Library, to introduce him and present ideas on the future of the library system to the City Council. That's referred to Finance Committee. Resolved that the Mayor, Chief of Police, and the Chairman of the Traffic Commission be invited to appear before the Public Safety Committee of this Council to discuss increased traffic enforcement or, as an alternative, reduce speed limits in the city to increase pedestrian safety. That's referred to Public Safety Council. As I, uh, I neglected to say that our colleague uh, from Ward 2, Mr. Monaghan, indicated, unfortunately, he couldn't join us tonight. He had a, a, a tied up at a work commitment, and he couldn't make it, but he uh, did want you to know that. Anything else before us tonight? Any moments of uh, personal privilege? 
Councillor Beauregard. Yes, uh, thank you. Again, uh, two, we're, we're encouraging people to attend the second in the Bro Brockton Urban Agricultural Plan meeting. This one will be held Wednesday, March 1st at the Shaw Center beginning at, I'm sorry, 6 p.m. And this is for those that are interested in finding out more about having farm animals or other policies, bees, and other types of uh, community gardening. And uh, we highly encourage it, young and old, to join us. The other thing is, is as uh, you had started this program, of um, explaining or mentioning just briefly what takes place at some of the uh, <clears throat> governing meetings. We had the Parking Authority meeting uh, last Wednesday night, and uh, the Brockton Downtown Parking Study is finalized, and uh, this is available to the public. It's very positive, a lot of great ideas, a lot of changes, and what's really positive about it is will be another opportunity for more um, uh, revenue for the city for more positive programs downtown and, and throughout. So thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Uh, anything else? Councillors, before we adjourn, I just want to let you know uh, as a follow-up to resolve that I filed uh, uh, last session um, relative to uh, the Baron Sully Field and uh, Cal Ripken League on the west side uh, and the three individuals from the West League came here that night. Uh, I do have a meeting this week with those individuals here at City Hall, Rob May, Tim Carpenter, unfortunately the Ward One Counselor, um, he's already given his views, he, he can't join us. Uh, he, he'll be outside of the Commonwealth, actually outside of the country, um, but I wish we could be there. Um, but I just wanna let you know that, that the ball is still in motion on that. We are still looking at all options and I will report back after we have that meeting, okay? If there's nothing else before us, the meeting is hereby adjourned. Thank you, have a good night.